Brendan Lupitan from Myers, Evans, Lupitan, and Uniton. Uh, please check us out on the web at MyersMedMal.com. One of the pieces of advice that I hear a lot of lawyers telling their clients, which drives me crazy, is the idea that the client should only testify yes or no and don't offer any extra information or anything like that. And I put a big no on this because I think, generally speaking, that is really problematic advice for most people who are going to be giving their first deposition ever. Why do I say that? Well, because I think that it's not the normal way that people talk. Yes, depositions are unusual. It's not something that we normally do. But to then make it extra unusual and say that you can only talk this way, you can only say yes, you can only say no, and then it implies to the client, it tells you, it makes you worried to think that you might make a mistake if you do anything other than say yes or no. So generally speaking, I think that's a big mistake and that people should not think about handcuffing themselves during a deposition process. Instead, I think it's a much better practice for people that are going to be giving a deposition to do two or three major things. The first is, just like anything in life, practice. Okay? And the practice for a deposition that's critical is first practicing with your lawyer. So sitting down with your attorney and going through what a sample deposition will be like. Go through the usual questions. Have your lawyer take a deposition of you, just like they've done of other people, and just like that other lawyer is going to do of you soon. This will help you understand what the process is like. This will under help you understand what the flow of the process is like. So as much as you can and as much as your lawyer can spare the time, I encourage you to practice with your lawyer going through your deposition until you feel comfortable with it. But don't stop there. Whenever you're in the car, whenever you have some time to yourself, I would encourage you to practice your own testimony. Practice with yourself. Talk it out loud. I know it sounds silly, but it makes a big difference. You know, sometimes we get stuff stuck in our head and we know exactly what it is, but then when we say it, it doesn't come out the right way. The more that you verbalize uh, your story and what happened, your core truths, uh, the better that you'll do when it comes time for your deposition which takes me to my last piece of advice, and it's common sense, but the key is to tell the truth. The truth will set you free. And you should not go into a deposition thinking that you have to say things a special way or you could lose the whole case. You should believe that the truth is righteous and tell the truth as it is. And I always find that when you, as the client getting ready for your deposition, really embrace that and understand why it's important and understand all the facts and the real truth of your case that you're going to give a way better deposition than if you try to limit yourself or again handcuff yourself by yes or no answers and really trying to limit yourself. So a big recommendation would be to avoid that, focus on practice, and tell the truth. I'm Brendan Lupitan with Myers, Evans, Lupitan, and Uniton. If you have any other questions, please feel free to contact us at MyersMedMal.com.